Hi, this is Corinne with Music Mastery, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you some fundamentals of playing the oboe. Um, I'm going to be talking about some basic things like putting your oboe together and owning a stand, and then swapping out your instrument after you're done playing. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, the first thing with assembly is just opening up your case, obviously. Um, the first piece I like to take out is my middle joint. So I like to just hold this with my left hand and take out my belt. So depending on the type of oboe you have, you may have keys on your belt and you may not. So if you do have keys, um, just look at the little tube here that is coming up and then this flat key that is on your middle joint and those are gonna be um, put together. So you're just gonna go in really small little wiggling back and forth motions um, and make sure that your left hand here is not squeezing the instrument really hard because that could loosen keys and we don't want that to happen. So make sure you're being gentle with that. And then these guys are now lined up right here. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take the top joint out. And again, there's some pieces that are gonna need to be lined up. So on your middle joint, there are two flat pieces here. And on the top joint, there are also two flat pieces. So those are gonna to need to be lined up. So again, going in small motions back and forth, you're just going to gently connect the joints and making sure that these are lined up. Is it this piece and then this piece. If they aren't lined up, you may have some weird issues going on. So make sure um, they're lined up. Okay, next I want to talk about basic uh, placement of your oboe while you're counting rests or um, just waiting or maybe getting taught a lesson. I like to just hold my oboe on my right thigh like this and just so that you are able to have a good grip on it. And if you're laying it diagonally across your lap like this, um, you may accidentally knock your reed on something else and that wouldn't be good because reeds are super fragile as you probably know. So I like to just hold it like this so that I can just make sure it's right here and close to me. <laughs> um, the next thing I wanna talk about is owning a stand. So if you have to get up for some reason during a rehearsal or even just when you're practicing at home, it's great to have a stand because you can just Put your oboe on it and make sure that it's not gonna be maybe rolling off your chair if you lay it down. So this is what mine looks like. Um, it's a Her Hercules stand. It can unscrew like this, the top part can unscrew so that I can fold it up and put it in my bag. The bottom parts fold up like this. So I really like this stand, it's really sturdy and um, I don't have to worry about my oboe knocking over. And then the last thing I wanna talk about is just swabbing out your instruments after you're done practicing. So this is really important because if you don't swab your instrument out, the condensation coming down will just kind of sit in there and it's not good for your oboe. So this is my swab. It is a silk swab, which is a good kind to get, I would recommend silk. Um, and on the end, it just has a weight. So what you're gonna do is flip your oboe over and stick the weight down the bell like this. And kind of just let it go down and then the weight is gonna come out the bottom. And just pull it gently through until you probably have about half the string at the top. Um, Never pull your swab all the way through the top because it's actually too much fabric to fit through this hole and it's not good for your elbow to do that. Um, so then just pull it back up through, pull it back down, keep going like this, rotating it. Um, I would say do this about five to six times. If you practice for a long time or if you have a long rehearsal, then I would recommend doing it longer or even sometimes if I have a really long day of playing, I will take apart my oboe and just do it through the individual pieces. So I'll just 
sit my weight down, the one piece. You do it a few times. And here, I want to cut myself. If you ever have a knot in your swab like this, never pull it through because it could get really easily stuck. So if you pull it through and you realize that there was a knot, don't try to do it yourself. Don't try to stick anything up your oboe to take it out. Um, I would just wait and maybe bring it to your band director or um, your lesson teacher if you have one or uh, a repairman because by doing it yourself, you could really mess up your oboe. So yeah, just thoroughly check the swab before. Even smaller knots in the string can really mess up a lot. So I don't see any knots, we're good. And that is how to swab out your instrument. Put it back together. And then putting it away is the same as putting it together, pretty much. <laughs> um, I like to just start with my top joint, actually, when I put it away. And again, not squeezing the keys, just really gently going in small rocking motions back and forth. Because if you go in big turns like this, it can really again, mess up your keys and make them loose or just other small things that you don't want to happen. So I'm taking my bell off next, to put my bell away next, and then put my middle joint in. And that's the basic assembly and some care for your oboe. Um, make sure to go watch the rest of my fundamental videos on musicmastery.band and thanks for watching.